this is definitely a different type of video that you guys aren't used to. Maybe one that I'm not used to recording, but basically there's some things on the car that I definitely, definitely need to fix. And don't get me wrong, I love the car. The car is great. But there's a couple things that I've kept telling myself that I was supposed to fix, but I haven't. One of the big things is I need tires. <laughs> the thread's not that bad on this, but definitely something that I need to do sooner than later. And for some reason, my center caps are faded. I don't even know how that happened. Uh, I still got the hole in the rear diffuser, you know, I've been holding off and fixing that. And then for some reason, somebody tried taking my emblem off. But from far away, you can't tell. Which is kind of funny because everybody thinks my car is great. Everybody thinks the car is perfect. Everybody thinks that the car doesn't need anything else. When in reality, I do need to do a lot more to this car to make it to where I want it to be at. And for starters, I decided to buy the tires that I've always wanted. I ended up going with Continental Tires, Extreme Contact Sport 2, 255 by 35, 18s obviously. I decided to get these on the car because I decided to spend money on the tires that I really wanted versus something that would just get me by. And I also heard that they're really, really grippy. So I wanted to give these a shot. Now, I know I can fit all the tires in my car, but the nice thing about that is I didn't have to this time because the wife got the car she always wanted, her Acura RDX. Something about having an SUV is just so convenient. You can just put everything in the back seats, especially after you fold them, and won't have to worry about anything. Something that's funny about having black wheels on the car is you can't really see them on certain angles, but even with the new tires on, they look great. They definitely have a wider stance. It definitely looks meatier, is what I'm trying to say is. And the lowering springs that are on the car make it look lower with these wheels. Or I guess you can say with the tires. The side profile is definitely a little bit wider, even though it's the same size as my old ones. But going from an all season tire to summer tires made a huge difference. I still haven't ran these in the mountains. I still haven't done a first gear pull to see how grippy these are, but even just driving around town, breaking them in a little bit, made a difference. And the thread on these look awesome. I'll definitely be doing a different video, going more in depth with how I feel about these tires as soon as they get broken in properly. Now the next thing that we need to do is actually not that big of a deal, but got a cabin air filter and I need to clean my air intake. Well, at least the filter is what I mean. And I've been neglecting both of these for a very long time. And doing this is actually really easy. I don't know why I decided to wait so long to do this. But after looking up a YouTube video on how to actually do all this, I just decided to do it myself. It's funny because I'm gonna be honest, I've never done this to any of my cars. I've just completely forgot about it. And I know a couple of you guys have too. But it's very simple, airflow down. And as I take the old one out, you can see how dirty it was and putting the new one back in not sure how much of a big difference it's gonna be but I decided to do it that way we can just get it out of the way and mark it off my checklist but looking at the old filter it's it's pretty bad so <laughs> but uh taking all this off this is actually really easy you're just gonna use a hex key or an allen key is what people like to call them forgot the size but Loosening it up all four bolts that we can get access to the intake. And as soon as we get this off, we're going to be taking it inside so we could rinse, wash it, and pretty much let it air dry afterwards. <sighs> so after realizing that my hand did not fit, I uh, got these plier looking things to be able to get it out because your boy did not want to take out the whole intake for that. After we got it off, it's very simple you just go ahead and take it off with the 10 millimeter and it, it's i have not touched this since i installed it i want to say even before 5,000 miles so cleaning it is very easy 
Uh, what's funny is that I was looking into getting a brand new filter, just literally a brand new filter, because I wanted to uh, just get a new one because I saw how dirty this one was. I didn't know you were able to get these cleaned or like, you know, some of them actually actually machine washable, which I find pretty cool. Uh, but these are pretty much very, very easy to do. Saved me, I want to say, what, 60 bucks? I think that's how much they are, 271. And what's funny is I was planning on actually switching over to the PRL one just so I can get better airflow, but I haven't really had any issues with this one anytime. So I'm just going to leave it as is, you know, the cleaning process is very easy and just tighten everything up and you're pretty much ready to go. I know the engine bay is dirty. I know I got to do more things to this car, but some of these little basic maintenance things getting out of the way right now, it, it makes a difference. Now we just got to get her washed. Now, if you guys follow me on social media, you guys know that my stepdad has a car wash business and I support him 100% just like he supports me. He does a really good job. He's already done a couple of my followers and subscribers cars here in Oxnard. So if you guys are in Ventura County, give him a shout out. Probably one of the best ones that would ever wash your car. And what's funny is whenever he comes by, there's a good chance you're gonna see his dog Hugo. And yeah, he's also a pug lover. Going back to making videos, I decided to change the pace up a little bit and I'm definitely gonna be slowing down on making videos. I know I wanted to make one video a week, but I feel like at that point, I'm just trying to force something out that you guys may or may not want to see. That's kind of why I've always been inconsistent with my videos because I always feel like I need to do better than the last one. And if one comes out that's not to my standards, it uh, makes me want to start over again. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna be doing car reviews. I still wanna do these car features. I'm still gonna be doing vlogs. And like I mentioned in the past, I'm still gonna be doing bigger turbo, ARP head studs. There's a couple things performance-wise that I still wanna do to the car. So it it's coming, don't get me wrong, it, it's coming. But I'm gonna be doing it at my own pace because when you're adulting and you're trying to have a family, you can't be selfish. Within time, everything that I want to do to this car is going to happen and more. But for now, thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have a good day. Peace.